hello guys welcome to my channel this is the 33rd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to talk about pseudo elements in CSS and uh, this is going to be a really interesting tutorial because pseudo elements can help you really jazz up your uh, web pages and uh, they can also help you save a lot of effort you know you can do a lot of uh, interesting things using pseudo elements which would require a uh, lot of effort otherwise so uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I have created a file called sudo underscore elements dot html and in this file within the style section you can see that I have uh, applied a lot of rules, uh, different sets of rules to the paragraph element and uh, of course I've created classes. So you know there are four classes, para1, para2, para3 and para4 and uh, then I have uh, some sudo elements. So first of all, you create a sudo element uh, to apply specific rules to specific parts of your paragraph so you know uh, over here the first uh, for the first paragraph uh, the one that has the class para1 you can see that I've placed a colon after mentioning the class name and then I have written first hyphen line so whatever rules you're seeing uh, within the uh, curly braces these rules are going to be applied only on the first line of uh, you know the paragraph that has the class para1 and uh, similarly for the second uh, paragraph class para2 I have used a pseudo element first letter so you know the rules within the curly braces are going to be applied only to the first letter of the paragraph for the third uh, paragraph you know the one that has the class para3 I have used uh, the pseudo element before and uh, again you know for all the pseudo elements uh, you need to just put a colon after your uh, element name and if it has a class then you'll have to first uh, type in your class name so since you know this one has uh, the class para1 I have p which is uh, the paragraph element then uh, the period the class name para1 and then a colon and then the pseudo element that I wish to use uh, so coming back to para3 I have used a pseudo element before and uh, for this particular pseudo element you need to use a property called content uh, which can have uh, text so you know whatever text is going to be in this paragraph the one that has the class para3 it is going to be preceded with the word hello uh, comma and a space right how cool is that you know you every time you want uh, uh, some paragraph to start with the, the word hello you know just give it the class para3 and you know the word hello comma and a space would uh, precede the text in the paragraph and similarly we have uh, another uh, paragraph this one has a class para4 and uh, for this one I have used the pseudo element after and again I have used the content property and this one has a text thank you for writing to us so this is uh, not going to proceed but this is going to appear after uh, the text in uh, the paragraph that has the class para4 and uh, inside the body section I have created four paragraphs uh, the first one has a class para1 and uh, I have used uh, the poem Road Not Taken by Robert Frost this is one of my favorite poems I didn't want to use it for this tutorial because I have some uh, unnecessary text in the uh, in the web page and you know this poem deserves a lot of respect and it is one of my favorite poems but then uh, it's okay so the Road Not Taken by Robert Frost is the heading so uh, if you remember for the paragraph that has the class para1 we have used the first line pseudo element so the style rules are going to be applied only on this particular line for the one that has the class para2 um, we have used the first letter pseudo element so it's only going to be applied the rules that is are going to be applied only on uh, this alphabet T uh, in this paragraph and then uh, for the paragraph that has the class para3 we've used the before pseudo element so before how are you or how may I help you we're going to see hello right so we're going to see hello how are you how may I help you and then we will see uh, the text thank you for writing to us and of course you can also apply uh, the rules that you wish to apply and uh, when you see this page in your browser this is how it looks so the first line has been italicized and you know the font style is different uh, the font size is different and uh, then for the second paragraph we can see that uh, the first alphabet T has different formatting uh, as compared to the rest of the text in the paragraph for the third paragraph we see the word hello with a comma and a space before how are you 
and for the final paragraph we see uh, thank you for writing to us after your query will be addressed soon so this is really cool you know you can uh, do so many interesting things using pseudo elements and uh, it's really quite simple you know you just have to put a, a colon and just mention the pseudo element that you wish to use and then you can have your style rules and you can uh, differentiate certain portions of your elements uh, from the rest of the text or you know whatever other things you have in your element so that's it for this tutorial and i hope robert frost is uh, not going to be mad at me in case he watches this tutorial i highly doubt that but if he does uh, sorry robert frost i used your poem but you know i just couldn't help it it's one of my favorite poems and i wanted uh, my subscribers to see it and uh, yeah that's it for this tutorial i hope you guys had fun watching this one and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you in the next video till then take care